My name is Jody McDermott. I'm a partner in our cloud engineering practice. I've spent the bulk of my time really understanding how to leverage the power of technology to drive business results. Telcos are really adapting to selling products and services in a new way, connecting with their customers in a new way. And while we've seen that digital transformation and experience has always been at the forefront for telcos in terms of their strategy, what we're seeing now is really a shift finally to, to a digital first conversation at the executive and C-suite tables. If you think about data being the new currency, as is the way I look at it, um, leveraging that data for hyper-personalized experiences and seamless digital experience is now more important than ever. You're able to provide pretty rich experiences that would typically be delivered through a retail store. And interestingly, we're seeing an evolution, a rapid evolution of field operations in telcos, which historically have really been anchored on face-to-face -face contact with, uh, with field technicians that would come into your home. We're seeing remote support uh, delivered outside of the home uh, via apps or others enabled by cloud uh, to have real-time communication with customers, walk them through that self-install, or to be able to resolve a situation with either digital online support uh, or support via contact centers. Interestingly, we are seeing network usage skyrocketing with many telcos reporting very large spikes uh, in usage patterns. From a global content delivery network perspective, the market will reach 14 billion in 2020, which is more than 25% uh, uh, from the 2019 estimate. So uh, when we look at uh, the use of analytics of AI and ML from a telco perspective, we're seeing you know, network optimization is becoming more critical. Network reliability is an ongoing focus. Deloitte predicts actually that more than 750 million edge AI chips are going to be sold in 2020 alone. I think consumer tolerance is waning a little bit in these times where connectivity is absolutely required to remain connected. And so we are seeing the emergence of AI and ML to really understand network performance, optimize performance. In addition, to understanding where do I divert my capital investments moving forward such that I am accommodating for these new usage patterns, closing out on the gaps that are our highest priority during these times.